Hey everybody, how are you doing today? What we are going to be making is star candle holders. And how I'm going to do this is with the Crayola air dry clay and a star cookie cutter, a bamboo skewer for um, uh, barbecuing, you know, when you make uh, shish kebabs. I don't have that with me right now. And a square piece of wood. But as I get it all together, I'll show you. But we got to do this process first. What I'm going to do is I don't want to use my rolling pin to do this because I only have one rolling pin. I don't want that used for things like this with my food. So I'm going to use a glass. So Let's cut out the first. And then these two are going to be, when they're done, I will adhere them together, but leaving a space from in the, on the top and bottom where the skewer can go down into. So get some more clay. This is what I made the, um, for Easter, I made the, sugar egg. I put it in the mold and molded the egg shape. I'll put in the description box on top in the left hand corner where you can go look at that and see how I did that. Second one. Okay, let's cut out the second one here. This one, I'm going to make the same thickness because I like that thickness a little bit better. It's a little bit thicker. So let's do this one. This will take a couple days to dry. Thicker it is, the longer, obviously. Okay. Those look about the same thickness. So I'm going to let those dry. When they're dry, we'll come back, put them together, and see how we make our candle holder. While they were still wet, I put the bamboo skewer. And now we are going to cover them with Mod Podge and this napkin. So let's get started. What I was going to do, remember when I did the um, eggs, if you follow me, for Easter? And I covered the plastic eggs with the napkin and I made a candle holder out of them. Doing the same concept. Because I thought, well, you know, I could have just uh, covered the eggs, right? But I wanted more of what would represent 4th of July and eggs don't <laughs> really do the trick. So that is what I'm doing. And this is going to be super fast and super easy. So I'm just putting the Mod Podge on Star. And I've let this dry now. It's been oh, probably about a week. All right. Nice thing about napkins, when you do it, it rips so easy. So when you get to the edges, you can just rip this right off. That's the layer, the plain layer of the napkin. But I went ahead and did that so this would adhere better. And again, I don't care if it's wrinkled. Okay, let's see. Let's 
get the let's get the scissors. Nice thing about this is you can come back and go over it again. See how I'm ripping this off? It gets a little messy with your fingers. Just don't let it get too stuck on your fingers or you might take the napkin back off. Okay, my finger's a little bit sticky. All right, and now I'm going to take pieces and just go over. Got on my hand, so I'm going to get this off my hand so I don't keep sticking back onto the star. here so we can kind of mold it to the star so you get more of your star shape. That's what I like about working with uh, napkins. If you were working with um, scrapbook paper it wouldn't be as easy because it's just thicker and it doesn't mold as nice and tear off as easy not saying that you couldn't do it, you could, but I'm just looking for an easy way, right? I don't want this to fall out of the um, skewer, so what I'm going to do after this is dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put it on the other side too, just to add a little bit of more security on this one. I'm going to take that part off on this one and just see what happens. Actually, I could just put it back on there because I could just rip it off. What I do is I saturate it on purpose with the Mod Podge because that way it really rips really, really easy. And I did the same when I did the eggs. See here, since I'm going to be putting it to the back anyway, why not? Might have to tear it a little bit so it lays more flat. Okay, I'm going to keep working with this and I'll be back when I'm getting close to done. Okay, you know how things happen and <laughs> you got to love it. Okay, you know how I was showing you how I was putting the stars on this wood to be a candle holder and they were together? Do you notice anything? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was trying to put this on and it cracked the uh, bamboo stick. So in true form, I refuse to let it go. Not after waiting those days for this to dry and this came on so nice and pretty I thought. So what I'm doing is I'm making a single star candle holder. And I had, if you remember for Easter, I made two. Remember the two different kinds of um, egg 
candle holders, the one that was more farmhouse, and the other one that was more uh, shabby chic. I'll see if I have any pictures, and if I do, I'll insert them. If not, you can go back to the video at Easter and uh, see how I did it. Anyway, all that to say, I had two more of these because I bought a pack of four at Hobby Lobby for $2.99, and then I drilled the holes in here. I cannot find that other one because what I was going to do is I was just going to make two, you know, individual candle holders. Well, I'm not going to let this go to waste. So, if you remember in my Christmas uh, farmhouse video, I bought this piece of wood and I bought these little, I don't even know what they are. I, I really don't know if they're really supposed to be used as legs, but I used them as legs. Anyway, I hot glued them onto the bottom to make a candle holder, a rustic looking candle holder for Christmas. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one candle here and one candle on this one. I have a little bit of a pit berry here when I ordered some of my pit berries from the pit berry farm. They sent this as just a thank you. So what I'm going to do, instead of using all of this for one, I'm just going to take my wire cutters and I'm going to make it into two pieces. This is what I'm going to do. I am just going to kind of maneuver this around and mold it. And again, just for the 4th of July, It'll all be coming off, but I'm not going to waste that other star just because it broke off the uh, bamboo. So I'll leave it like that. And then uh, this one, since it doesn't have enough dowel, well, I wouldn't want it that way anyway because I'm not going to drill a hole into this one. I will go ahead, maybe bring it up around here like this in the back. Actually, those stars kind of feel waxy. Maybe they are. I don't know. And just take off a little bit more of this dowel now that I'm not going to need it. Top's okay. Had this been a stronger, like a dowel, opposed to a bamboo skewer, it wouldn't have broke like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rest that next to this and that is how these two will be displayed somewhere else they went. what I thought I would do also I had thought about decoupaging on uh, this napkin also onto this but I want to keep these for other things other than the fourth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ribbon from the Dollar Tree and this kind of goes with that uh, particular napkin. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and just dab it on there so it can be taken off. So let's see. Make sure we can get it around here. All right. So that is what it will look like see but I'll show you I'll show you where I'm going to put it and you'll see it in the home tour so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those not to fret something breaks just do something else with it you don't need to toss the whole thing you just have to think of a different way to use it outside the box <laughs> it's always outside the box I mean there's always something going on anyway that's that guys so I will be back once I get this glued together and here it is on the end table here's one of them and the other one will be coming up in a minute like the way it turned out no problem when it broke I was still able to use both so I hope you enjoy this and remember 
Until our next DIY or collaboration or whatever we do, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that.